Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to refinish this table with chalk paint. So I chose this simple piece just to show you all the basics about how to paint with chalk paint. I know it's a very popular paint right now and I love it too. So I'm just gonna be talking a lot about chalk paint, all the basics. So if you really wanna learn about chalk paint, just keep watching. If you are new here, I just want to let you know very quick what we do. Me and my husband do lots of home improvement projects, DIY projects. We paint furniture, we finish furniture, build furniture. And so if you want to learn all that, just consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you. So what is chalk paint? Chalk paint is a mineral paint, water base, that has the quality of adhering really easy to in many different surfaces and that's for that reason you don't have to prime or sand and that's one of the reasons that is so popular right now because you don't have to prime or sand <laughs> which is great and the other reason that is so popular is because of the finish that shock paint creates so shock paint creates a very flat matte finish and it's just it's beautiful a lot of people don't like that glossy semi-gloss finish that uh, latex or other paints create okay guys I'm gonna show you step by step how to paint with chalk paint I chose this side table uh, it's a simple piece uh, so for those of you that are just starting to learn and paint furniture I will suggest to start with simple pieces like this one no drawers not too many details um, so Yes, I will suggest to start with something simple. So we're gonna need to clean it first. I use this green sponge, a cloth, and this is 50% denatured alcohol and 50% water to clean it. The chalk paint, wax, and these two brushes, which I love. This one is a medium oval from Annie's Lawn. And you, this I really recommend, a wax brush. I think this is the small one, but it's just perfect. You don't need anything bigger than that, and it's just, it really helps. If you start painting furniture, you'll see that. All right, guys, so the first step is gonna be cleaning. Let's do this. Okay guys, so as you can see, I was able to take this piece apart, I uh, <laughs> screwed the legs and <clears throat> it just came apart like that, which is gonna make it easier for me to, to paint because I'm gonna paint the legs and this, this part uh, separately, so that'll be easier. So some pieces you can really take apart really easy and it makes your life easier. Some other pieces you cannot. So you just work with what you have. So in this case, I clean, I took it apart because I was able to. We're gonna start the second step, which is paint. That's it, guys. You paint, you don't have to prime, you don't have to sand. With chalk paint, I will only say you sand when it's really glossy, it has like a really glossy finish. So I will slightly sand the piece before painting. But with this, uh, with this piece you don't even need to do that so no priming no sanding and straight to painting let's do it so you're just gonna dip your brush halfway you don't even need to clean it that much it sticks pretty good to the brush and you're just gonna paint cover the whole piece don't worry so much about getting it too smooth. 
to even just uh, paint everywhere. Okay guys, so I'm done with my first coat. I let it dry for about 30 minutes. Chalk paint usually dries really fast and I'm ready to do my second coat just as I did the first. I'm not, put it, I'm not gonna put it upside down this time. I'm just gonna paint it this way and just make sure everything that people can see is, looks is covered and it looks nice. And that's it. Chalk paint uh, is great for distressing and I just I feel like this piece will look really nice distressing it a little bit so this, this is just something I want to do. And I'm gonna be using a fine a sponge, a sanding sponge and I'm just gonna be distressing it very little just the edges and about here so we can show some of the underneath color that this piece had remember it was like a yellowish white and I think it will look really nice with the green. So I'm just gonna distress it a little. Now this next step is waxing. It's gonna waxing, it's gonna seal the piece and it's gonna give it a very smooth finish. Shock paint is very rough. Once it dries, dries like chalk paint, hence the name. Um, so you need, you definitely need wax to make it smoother. It's gonna help you softer. It's gonna help you clean the piece better. So like I said before, I'm gonna be using Anislon clear wax, soft wax. Uh, this is gonna seal the piece and it's gonna create a very soft finish. It's beautiful, I love it. And you can also polish later. I, they suggest after 24 hours, but uh, you can even do it almost right away to if you want a little bit of a sheen or gloss to, to your piece, you can polish wax to any desire chin that you want so that's another plus and that's it guys uh, for waxing we're gonna use a wax brush i'm gonna have a lint free cloth to wipe wipe off the excess of the wax okay guys so i'm gonna start waxing and i'm just gonna show you really quick what i do when i wax i always do a small uh, areas at a time so i remember where i wax you don't want to put too much wax or you don't want to miss spots because that means the, that piece is not going to be sealed. And that's it. Uh, you just put this much, put it up. Yes, you want to make sure the wax is is being absorbed by the paint. You can see it and you just want to wipe off anything that any excess wax. That's it guys. You're done. 
So I'm gonna show you once I'm done waxing and I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys try shop paint. It's definitely worth it and it's beautiful. Thank you.